Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to sysprep this Windows 11 computer so I can clone it to other machines. So I'll go to the C drive, I need to get to the sysprep folder and this will be in the C drive. It will be in the Windows folder, System32 folder, this is it. The sysprep folder should be here. So this is a sysprep folder, I'm going to open it. So I'm going to run the sysprep application. I'm going to right click, run as administrator. I'm going to select generalize and in the shutdown options, I'm going to choose shutdown, click OK. So I get this error message. So to access the error message, I'm going to go to the Panther folder. I'm going to click on this file. And this tells me what's the error message. So it says here it's the Microsoft OneDrive Sync. This is causing the error. And it says it was installed for a user, but not provisioned for all users. So in order to sysprep successfully, I have to remove the OneDrive Sync package. So these are some of the commands to remove the package and you can get this free online if you do a search on Google you can get all these commands where you can remove the packages from Windows 11 so the one I'm going to choose is the OneDrive sync I have to remove that so this is the one I have to remove so I have two options here I have this one and I also have this one so I'm going to use the two options so I'm going to right click I'm going to copy this so I'm going to use the PowerShell command. So in the search, I'm going to type PowerShell. I'm going to use this one, Windows PowerShell. I'm going to right click, run as administrator. So I pasted the command. I'm going to hit enter. I'm also going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it in the command here. Click enter. I'm going to close it. So I'm going to run sysprep again. I'm going to right click the sysprep application file and run as administrator. I'm going to select shutdown in the shutdown options, select generalize, click OK, and it's just prepping right now. So this means it's working because there's no more error messages. So I want to thank you for watching and I also want to thank you for subscribing.